Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News and I appreciate you joining me today. And I appreciate all of you that support my work. Yes, thank you very much. Hugs and kisses. There was a magnitude 6.4 earthquake there in the Gulf of California. I don't know if USGS is going to change it. Uh, they're saying it's a magnitude 6.3. This was along a fault zone, what they call a transform fault, where one side of the fault uh, moves and the other side moves. Um, it moved towards the um, uh, northwest, I guess you could say, kind of like in this angle. Here on Geoscope, you can see the image of what happened when the earthquake occurred. Yeah, moving to the, the left there. It just happened a little while ago, maybe about a half an hour, uh, maybe 45 minutes as of when I'm making this video. Um, eight people so far have said they felt this earthquake. The shake map says intensity level five. Here they have their prediction and observation for rupture distance. Um, yeah, over a hundred kilometers which would be about 60 miles. For the speed of the earthquake, they got 0 0.3 seconds, one second and three seconds drawn out with the different colors. So it took about three seconds after the quake occurred, uh, maybe for them to feel it in the pause. So here we have the felt reports. Let's see, um, Los Cabos got one response from there. They said it was an intensity level one and two. Where is this? Uh, Mazatan intensity level four. Wow. Okay. Um, cor con cor well, I'm getting all tongue tied. Concordita intensity level three. A little bit farther south, we got another report. Intensity level three. Let me pull it out a little bit farther. Yeah, it shook up Yellowstone. I'm going to show you that in a minute. As you know, this whole area is slowly moving west. Yeah. So the rupture distance could be um, from the right to the left, but from here, that would be the rupture distance of 60 miles. Then if we divide it in half from the area of the earthquake uh, going towards the right, that would be 30 miles. So let's see if I kind of judge it. Let's see, 60 miles. There you go. Here's that earthquake as it came in at Yellowstone. We got Maple Creek, uh, West Thumb. Yeah, look what it did there. Um, Joseph Cope. And the western boundary. I want to make West Thumb bigger first. Let me bring it down. And I'll show you the camera. The camera is really acting up. All right, right there. And you can see. Let's check out the seismic wave. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, tectonic volcanic earthquakes. I've been talking about these lately. And here's the Old Faithful live webcam. Let me show you something. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I've never been able to move the image. See that? Um, yeah, it's messed up. It's raining there. So here we have the helio plots. It was picked up at, there at the Aleutian Islands in Alaska. There it is in New Mexico, Missouri. Um, Florida. Yeah, let's make that bigger. There it is at Florida. And we'll go back. Yeah. Yeah, the energy more than likely. It looks like it was because of the shoving, I suppose. Uh, going towards the north. Hockey, Texas. For those of you that are in Texas. Look at that. Okay. Let's bring it down. South Dakota. 
where I'm at, Pennsylvania, Hawaii, for those of you in Hawaii. And it gives how many, um, I believe these are minutes down here at the bottom. Okay, what else? Indiana, Arizona, Tennessee. Let's go to Arizona. My aunt lives there in Arizona. Let's check out a couple more. And Ohio, Michigan, Idaho, New York. Yep, you guys there in New York got shook up. USGS is reporting an earlier earthquake there at Yellowstone at 1312 or 1313. Yeah, 1313. That one was at Star Ranch once again. Yeah, there was one the other day. Magnitude 2.7. Uh, 5 kilometers in depth or about 3.1 miles. Intensity level 3. Let's see if they have it. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay. Uh, one report doesn't give the location, but close to where it occurred. Let's check it out on Google. Actually, Google Earth. Okay, there's the location of the 2.7. Yeah, there's that 2.6 that occurred. Let's see, on the 15th. There's its seismic signature. Let's make that bigger. Yep, once again. Uh, tectonic volcanic earthquake. Yep. I used to just call them volcanic earthquakes, but yeah, when they got a little bit tinier points, it's actually tectonic volcanic earthquake and what else do we got here there's a little one there that they're not reporting yeah surprise surprise that was at 942 let's just see what's going on here another one popping of the rock another one and another one all right let's make this smaller let's see we'll check out the western boundary Okay, let's close this out and see what we... Oh, we got quite a few. Why well, there's a couple in red? Yep, see, that's that popping. I was talking about how the ground is so brittle because of the pressure of the magma pushing up, ascending, rising up. We're getting things like this. Uh, the ground isn't flexible anymore. So, yeah, pop, pop, pop. There's two more right there. You see that? And, oh, look at there. Let's go right there. Let's go to the seismic signature. Screaming. Talked about when the magma comes in so fast that the machines can't pick it up. Um, they do have some new equipment that will pick it up. And it sounds like a tea kettle as the whistle gets louder and louder. I see another one there. But I want to go to this other popping right afterwards. We got a whole bunch of popping there at the western boundary. More screaming. Let me go back to here. Yep, you can see how the dike intrusion. Get a crack under the ground that opens up. And the crack is, of course, going up. And it's allowing the magma to come into... The system rising up. Okay, there was another one. I'm just going to go through these. Let me let me go back here before I go there. I probably have to make it bigger. Okay. All right. Well, that's marked in red. If I got it on the right line. Maybe not. Okay, but down. Where is it? Right there. More screaming. Right there. Short little burst. Let's close this out. May look some more. Yep. And this ain't going to be good. Let's take a look at this. Okay. This is from that 6.4 earthquake there in the Gulf of California. Let's see. See the line of melt all the way at the top. Pull this across. Yep, shook up the caldera. Someone asked me, well, how can it do um, 
the shaking at Yellowstone when earthquakes are so far away. Well, earthquake waves go out in all directions around the world. And sometimes the waves are stronger in one direction more so than the other direction. And just bring this across and see. Okay. Let's take a look what it's looking like right now. Let me go to the stream view and I'll bring it down. All right, so we got, I have not downloaded this. We got an earthquake right here. Right there, and there's another one right afterwards. So it did affect Yellowstone. We got that one. I won't be able to tell you the magnitude unless I download the data. Okay. And then there's that other one. Just came in. Yep. So it's been about an hour now as I'm making this video um, since that Gulf of California earthquake. Notice here, right after the popping, let me go to the signature and then go back to the spectrogram. Right after the popping, how it went poof and it started screaming and then it started screaming again. Um, this all started, let's see, what time is this? 1607 universal time. Or is it here? Okay. Yeah, 1637. So that would have been at 1137 this morning. Yeah, look at that. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. I want to get this posted. Um, always be prepared for a disaster. Yeah, have food, water, medical stuff. Don't forget the pets. Have things bolted to your walls. Surprising how many people are not earthquake prepared. And as always, thank you very much for your support. And thank you very much for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.